our most famous one. <laughs> I've been a Elvis fan since I was six years old. That's been a few years. And that does say Elvis so, Presley Boulevard there right there. Are. Big as daytime. Yep, right here. That's incredible. Isn't that nice? And of all times, there would be a truck coming yep. by. <laughs> I mean, the, their timing couldn't have been more, <laughs> couldn't have been more, and more perfect, yeah. right? You can get good stuff at estate sales. Oh, yeah. That's where I was when I broke my feet last year. That's right. You broke your feet. <laughs> But that was in Memphis, right? That was in Memphis, yes. I was there for uh, Elvis Week. Okay. And I had, we'd gone to a couple of concerts. We'd go up there to see Sean Clush and Cody Slaughter. I love those two guys because they're excellent ETAs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you told me a story that you really were not into ETAs until no. you saw some that were really, really good, and those two guys or two that you thought were excellent. Oh, my gosh, yes. You know, right after Elvis passed away, everybody wanted to be an Elvis impersonator. And, you know, some of them were okay, but, you know, to me, it was just, you know, it's something that I just didn't really enjoy. And then when people started imitating me and starting doing the shows and things like that, some people, again, were good, and they would try to do it as a, as a honor or in memory of Elvis. And then a friend tricked me into going to a Williamson County Fair in 2007, I think. And she had been telling me about this guy by the name of Sean Clush. And I said, no, I'm not into ETAs, I'm not into impersonators, I don't want to go. But she said they were trying to do this program, you know, to develop the ETA program. Mm -hmm. And that it was backed by, you know, Graceland and so on and so forth. So when I got up there, 20 Elvis came down. <laughs> and I sat there and some were good, some were great, some were whatever. But Sean Clush was one of the last ones that performed that evening. And I'm telling you, he was Elvis reincarnated, so to speak. Wow. And he was on stage with the uh, Jordan Ayers, who actually sang with Elvis, which was, you know, a really big uh, honor to, to, you know, be able to perform with them. So then I went to see Sean win the title of uh, Ultimate. He was very the first Ultimate Elvis uh, ETA. And so after the show, I went up and met him and Dan Lantino, and I told him, I said, I'm going to bring you guys to Huntsville. And they said, Huntsville? And I said, yeah, Alabama. And they said, Alabama? And mm -hmm. I'm like, yes. And so... I came back and I started working the process and I brought them to Huntsville in 2015 to do a benefit for the uh, Veterans Memorial Foundation. And we raised about $15,000 and so I brought them back every year except last year. And you did that at the Von Braun? We did that at the Von Braun. Which would have been the 40th year yes. anniversary of Elvis playing there in 75. Absolutely. And that's okay. what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring it back in honor of Elvis because he christened the Von Braun Center uh, in 75. Actually, he was the first person to play yeah. there. He mm -hmm. and Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash was the first country star, and Elvis was the first uh, rock and roll. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, and and a lot of people don't really know that Huntsville is actually the only city that Elvis ever performed five back-to-back sold-out concerts. Wow. He didn't do that in Vegas, you know, not five back-to-back. -back. Mm -hmm. But because the demand was so great, uh, the tickets for the first show sold out immediately, so then they booked the second show and the third show, and those sold out immediately. And so people were still wanting tickets. And um, so they decided that they would do two more shows, which wound up on June the 1st. And um, so he did two matinees and three evening performances, and all of them were sold out. So he did five shows total, you're saying, total. in those three days in he, 75. Absolutely. And I remember the ticket prices we were talking about were $5, $7.50, and $10. $10, yes. And now, I, what? And you went to those shows? I went to three of those shows. I went to the, the uh, Friday night show, the Saturday matinee, and the Sunday matinee. Again, when Elvis walked in out there at the country store, we were told, and I, I firmly believe that it is true, that he would wear, you know, like a, a flannel shirt and a baseball cap, you know, to go in incognito. Mm -hmm. But the people in the area actually really did know that it was Elvis. And so that's one of our, our great memories of him coming to Huntsville. That's then, incredible. Then for him to perform here for uh, five, five concerts, in 75. I actually saw Elvis for the very first time in Auburn, Alabama uh, in 74. One of my co-workers at NASA and I were big Elvis fans and we had tried and tried and tried to get tickets for every show but you know back in the day you didn't you had to go stand in line and get tickets you couldn't order online like they do today so by the time you got there and got up to the window oh, I'm sorry we're sold out you know so she called me up one afternoon and said she had garnered two tickets to go to the show well I was so excited I thought she was going to invite me to go with her mm -hmm. But she said, my husband and I are going, and I'm like, my heart just fell. And so two weeks before the show, she called me up, and she said, Benny, you know, we got, uh, I got the tickets to go to see the Elvis show. And I said, yes. And she said, well, my husband's got a, 
he worked for NASA too. He was a NASA photographer, and he, she said he's got a TDY trip uh, out of town, and she said, and I'm going with him. And uh, would you like my tickets? So, wow. woo, would I like her tickets? Oh my gosh, yes. So, <laughs> my husband was a police officer with the Huntsville Police Department, and so I called him up and told him that we had tickets to go see Elvis, and he said, No, we don't. I can't get off work. And I'm like, Yes, we can. So, or yes, you can. So. Uh, Anyway, we both saw him, my husband and I saw him uh, for the first time in 74 in uh, Auburn, Alabama. And then I saw him in Tuscaloosa, Louisville, Kentucky, Hampton, Virginia. Uh, wow, you Huntsville. travel around. Yes. So. Yeah, Hampton's a haul from here. Oh, yeah. Uh, my friend. Uh, yeah, Louisville's a haul from here. Uh, I have family that live in Louisville, but Paul was going up there for a chief of police, uh, uh, chief of police conference. Mm-hmm. And so he called me up and he said, you won't believe who's coming to, to Louisville. And I said, who? And he said, Elvis Presley. And I'm like, and if you don't get tickets, you better not come home. <laughs> so he got us tickets to go to. And that's Freedom Hall. Yes. So we had a, we, I saw him twice in Louisville. And uh, so it's just been great. There's no other entertainer in the world that can compare to Elvis and, and what he has brought to the music industry and to, and to people personally. You know, he was such a personable guy. I'm just thrilled to have lived in his in this lifetime. In this era. To work for NASA, yes. Mm -hmm. To work for NASA, I grew up there. Doc, I knew Dr. Von Braun, all the people. I was I was at NASA when we landed men on the moon the first time. Wow. So, would you like a barbecue sandwich? That's uh, up to you. So, so, where's the farm at? What farm? The farmhouse that they stayed at. The oh, house. I don't really know. It's back there on one of the. Hmm. It's it's back there on one of the, the streets that I don't really know exactly which house it was. All right, well, let's yeah. see if Mary knows which she house. She might know. Yeah, she might All know. Right. Okay. <laughs> this is really good. It's awesome. Those little benches. Yeah, well, this is where we used to come in and order, sit down, and have a, have a, have a barbecue sandwich. Yeah. You could, order the, you could eat it here or take it to go. This is really, really cool. Look at all the graffiti on top of everybody signing their names. I'm sure that was a wall somewhere once before. So y'all got to come here and check His this name out. His up there, for all we know. That's right. <laughs> he could have signed it. I'm sure he did. Mary's Pit Barbecue. Hey, I got a question for you. Uh, hey, uh, you know Mr. Powell? I know Mr. Powell. No, the Mr. Powell from Big and Makers that used to, you know who I'm talking about? Used to own it, yeah. Used to own it, yeah. Um, what do you know about him and Elvis? Uh, his, uh, his relationship with Elvis was pretty good. Uh, he had a lot of relationships with Elvis. Uh, he, I, I was told, owned uh, Gerber baby food up there. Yeah, I'm talking about Elvis Presley. Yeah, he was, he, one of them pals, I believe it was Ed Powell, hung out with the Memphis Mafia. They come down here. And uh, I guess I was 10 or 12 years old. I was riding a bicycle still. Right. Yeah, and I was up Mays when Brooks Lewis said they'd stopped in there. Because we all went in there. They have us been here. Yeah, he's that handing out autograph jackets. <laughs> but he wasn't, was he? <laughs> no, he was. But he was out at the farm. He was out at the Powell farm. Okay. Yeah. Well, didn't uh, one of Mr. Powell's relatives work for Elvis? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. May have, but, but I'd always heard the Gerber story. The Gerber. I've never heard Gerber of baby food, you know, that's like filthy rich. Right. I guess anybody that had money was trying to get around Elvis anyway. Right. Okay. So that's how he but he was, he was at the farm. I've heard that from several, several people. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you. All right. Bye. All right. Well, that's some confirmation. Yeah. So, what's your, <laughs> dad, what's your dad's name? Do you want to give him credit for that? Oh. Who's that? Her yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, his name's Jeff Tony. Jeff Tony. Tony. T O N E Y. Okay. Tony. Yeah. yeah. But now the pals that still uh, are related to them, mm -hmm. they live up on Kill Mountain. I know that Kimberly Powell has real this real estate. Mm -hmm. She's married to one of the Powells. Oh, okay. That would Here be we'll like call. a son or something. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll yeah, take. This is one of the first subdivisions that they built when they went mm -hmm. to Snow Mountain. Yep. My husband's from up there. Oh, okay. You want banana pudding? Yep. Yeah.
two banana puddings. All right. So we're checking out the banana pudding. Pretty good. The Elvis probably ate one too. Yeah. You never know. Back in the day. Mm -hmm. Back, Back in the day. Back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, see, you just run into Elvis fans wherever we go. So all the, around here. I was on the dairy farm. Yeah, we, we the stone dairy farm. Look right there, Roll Tide. Roll Tide and Elvis Always is my logo. <laughs> Roll Tide and Elvis Always. I like that. Yep. So now we're going to go see the house. The house. The, where the Powells uh -huh. live. Take this road to go up to the lakes, Hurricane Creek, and I'm sure you probably went up there fishing quite a bit at County Lake. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful lake up there. And then this is the uh, road that leads to Gurley. So she said there was a blue house that looked mm -hmm. like that. So it's got to be the house on the other corner yes, over here. up here. Mm -hmm. With the big white columns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it right here. So this is the farmhouse. This would have been the Powell farmhouse. Correct. And so it looks a little like Graceland. Yeah. Has just a little yeah. taste of it. But this is where Elvis would have stayed if he'd have come here to the Powell farm. So this was the main Powell farmhouse. All right. Isn't that pretty cool? It is. And then just down the street, they named a street after him. So they sure do. We're actually going to take the circle drive just like we're pretending to be in Graceland. All right. In Gurley, Alabama. Maybe we won't get get in trouble. Yeah, they I may. Don't think so. They may shoot you, but maybe <laughs> not. I don't think so. We're peaceable people here. But yeah, I can I can just see that. And they got the the door painted Alabama. Yep. Crimson. Roll Tide. Roll Tide and Elvis <laughs> always. That That's is very cool. cool. That is pretty cool. So see, we validated your uh, information very much. So. Yes. So that is the Powell House right there. So Elvis stayed right there. We feel like we validated that he came here. And I didn't even mention any of that when we were at the barbecue place and she just very forthright came out and said Elvis was there. Right? That is true. Yeah. And she said that her dad, or he even said he was a kid on a bicycle when he came to that store down right. there. He remembered his parents and everybody going there and saying, is Elvis here? Yeah, he's down here autograph, uh, autograph, doing autographs and giving away uh, jackets. <laughs> and of course he wasn't. He was just down there enjoying a, a, bologna, chan a bologna and cheese sandwich, probably. Or maybe a peanut butter and banana sandwich. That's Who right. knows? So here we are back. At so this is the store right here that we believe that Elvis would come to. It was the only store at the time. Yes. Brooks Lewis General Merchandise. And so you could get all, you could get food, you could get groceries, you could get farm supplies, plants for your garden. And friends of yours own that now. Yes. Uh, my Davis. The, their, their last name is Smith. Oh, Smith. Uh, Pam, okay. Pam and David Smith, they just bought this. And she just posted it on Facebook the other day. And I said, oh, wow, this is just so cool. So I sent her a message and told her we were coming out here today. So uh, I'm sure they're probably still celebrating the week. Weekend. Yeah. So, so there you go. If you want to uh, come to a place where Elvis ate a, they they were famous for bologna, bologna and cheese and sandwiches. Cheese sandwiches. Yeah. Maysville General Store here, but it's this is called Gurley, not Maysville. Well, this yeah, this is Maysville right here, but it has a Gurley address. Oh, okay. So, so it's kind of a mixture of the two of them. Mm -hmm. Just a little suburb of Curly. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing your Elvis stuff with You're me. You're welcome. And it's friends, if you see her in Memphis, say hello, right? Right. And do you have a Facebook? I'll be, I do have a Facebook, Benny Jacks. Benny Jacks, spell it. B-E-N-N-I-E -E mm -hmm. J-A-C-K-S. Just like it sounds. That's right. Just okay. like Jack Benny in reverse. Okay. But I'm Benny Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Thank you so much, Benny. Thank you. Appreciate nice to you. Meet you. Yes, right. ma'am. Have a good day. So Benny's giving me a Dr. Von Braun. So you're saying Braun. Brown. Browns. Von Braun, right? Von Braun. Even though it looks like Von, Von Braun. Von Braun, yeah. Okay, so I had a question about that. Let me, I'm trying to get okay. out of the out of the wind so I'm okay. not it's not so windy. I don't know. So it's you worked for Dr. Von Braun. I work, yes. Brown. Von I work, Brown. I worked for NASA when Dr. Von Braun was the center director. Yes. Sir. But I just want to get see it's, it looks like friends, it looks like Von Braun. Uh -huh. But they pronounce it Braun Von Braun. Brown. And so I just wanted to get that. So she's given me this T-shirt, and that is very cool. You knew him. I did. And he was very much integral in the space program. Oh, absolutely. And they were they were part of bringing the uh, Broadway theater leaks, you know, to Huntsville. He, they were very musically inclined. And so we owe uh, the Germans when they came to Huntsville not only for the space program, but what they contributed to the, to the music industry as well. That is incredible. And actually, I think they, back in the, last year when we did the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, 
uh, <clears throat> Dr. Von Brown had written some uh, music, and so that was that was played in uh, in his honor last year. Wow! At the Center uh, in the symphony. So he was a really a sharp guy. Oh my gosh! And you said he was good looking too. Oh, good looking, charisma. Oh, a visionary, futuristic. You know, they're doing today. You know, his dream. I know he is really thrilled. That is and it something was, else. It was an honor to work for NASA and and them back in the day. And I'm still there. I work as the volunteer coordinator out at the Space and Rocket Center. Mm -hmm. So I'm still highly connected, and we just love living in Huntsville, the Rocket City. You know, a lot of people don't give Huntsville credit for being, uh, you know, we, we did all the research and the development here. So if it wasn't for Huntsville, we wouldn't have a NASA. We wouldn't be flying. flying yeah. Rockets. Yeah, Huntsville's really probably a bigger part of it than than Florida and, or anywhere. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. In incredible stuff. They couldn't fly if we couldn't if we didn't develop it. For That's them. right. So. Rocket scientists live rocket here. Scienti Absolutely, <laughs> a lot of rocket scientists live here. I'm not one of those, but I grew up with them, and I'm just thrilled to have been a part of the space program. That's incredible. And for us flying yesterday, oh my goodness, it was so good to fly back on American soil again and not have to pay Russia to send their astronauts to the space station. That's right. So thanks. And that to, happened just yesterday. Thanks to President Trump and Elon Musk and and um, the NASA administrator and everybody at NASA and SpaceX. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They all got it worked out. They did. That's I know incredible. Dr. Von Brown is happy. We yeah, are. No doubt. <laughs> so enjoy your shirt. Thank you so much. That's right. very cool. All right. So this was Keith Alverson's shot. Uh, from the Sunday afternoon show, I believe, and so this was a direct quote from Elvis, and so Keith let us use his photographs in our magazine, so we owe Keith a lot of credit uh, for that. Yeah, Keith and Marsha are yes, awesome. Yes, they and, are. And he Love took some Marcia. incredible pictures. And so back in the day when, you know, this was what the Von Braun Center looked like, back in the day when Elvis came here mm -hmm. in 75, and this was us. We camped out out there uh, for... Uh, 25 plus hours I did on the concrete by our tickets. So that's where I met some of the most wonderful Elvis fans and we're still friends today. And were you able to get all your tickets for all three shows during that camp out? No. I got tickets. They were limited to uh, six tickets per person. Mm -hmm. And so I happened to get the other two tickets through some friends that had bought some extra tickets. I so I didn't have to stand in line for the three shows. But, I but you get, were in line for 25 hours for your for set of tickets. For my first set of tickets for the wow. for the uh, Yes. And so my family and I got to go to the Friday, you know, the May 30th show. Yeah. And, uh, but this is what the, what the Von Braun Center looked like back in the day. And this was us. We did a total reenactment. You know, again, there's a validation for the tickets for five, seven, fifteen, mm -hmm. ten dollars $10. And so we had the, we established the For the Heart Elvis, fans, Elvis Presley Fan Club here mm -hmm. in Huntsville. And I'm sorry I'm in the yes. sun, friends. I'm trying to get out. But so you are part of the For the Heart yes. Fan Club. So, of Huntsville. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, you, we, we just met, you know, none of us really probably knew each other, maybe two or three people. But again, this was a reenactment of some of the people that were right here mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the 75. And so this was back in 2015. So we just did this special memorial book and have some absolutely wonderful pictures from each one of the concerts. I was the first person in line at Marshall Space Flight Center when these first were sent to the post office mm -hmm. and they were only you know you, they said that you could only buy a hundred stamps I think so anyway I managed to get a thousand and my son was getting married the next year in 93 and so all of their wedding invitations went out with an Elvis Presley stamp on them <laughs> so that's why I needed that many uh, stamps. To make it happen. Yes so uh, I do have some of the original stamps but you actually used some of them. Too. And I actually used some of them, and I still have some, but I, you know, I did send him flying everywhere. Yeah. And I still do today. I use the, the current stamp on a lot of my mail. That's cool. Yeah, I do. In fact, I have some of them in my bag right now. And then my son just gave me for Mother's Day this. He knows what I like. And the Jungle Room and album. And this and this. Yep. I have not seen this, so this yeah, is... Yeah, that's very yeah. cool. That's outtakes yeah. and all that. I've heard yeah. it. It's really good. So he made my day, Mother's Day. When you he got made excellent day. stuff. Yes, I do. Look, this is uh, Doug Hurley. He's the current astronaut up on SpaceX. Wow, of right now. So I was fortunate to be at NASA when they came. And so he signed, I've got the autographs of all the people that was on the last STS, the 135 mission. And then they autographed my shuttle model for me too. But I'm proud of Doug Hurley. I saw him fly the last time on an STS shuttle. Mm -hmm. flight. And then yesterday on the SpaceX. That is incredible. It's cool. That's very cool. It is cool. We love living in Huntsville. And another one of my NASA friends gave me this very, very, very rare poster picture. It was from Germany. 
So, That's very cool. Yes. So he came in my office one day and wanted to know if uh, he could give me something. And I'm like, absolutely. So it's one of my prized possessions. That is very, very cool. It came all the way from Germany. Yes, very rare. My little Elvis guy. This is my son, Patrick. <laughs> and my friend uh, made his outfit out of some of my jewelry. So it's an exact replica of uh, Elvis's outfit. That is very cool. Born. That is very cool. Is he still a fan? He is a fan. Not as wild as his mom, but he's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Oh. Benny, thank you so much. You're welcome. And I appreciate you uh, bringing me out here and showing me this place. And, yeah, uh, they've done a facelift on it in the last, looks like, so it yeah. looks really good. Yeah. I'm excited for Pam and her husband to uh, start their new business here. This is great. This uh, validates that you know, we've heard from some people that they believe that Elvis was, in fact, here. Grace went through those doors. Those are the exact same doors. And did stay with the Powells this, out here. Yes. And you can tell they look like a miniature Graceland. Yeah, it did. Yes. Yeah. Sure Very did. So. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Yes, ma'am. So right through these doors, friends. Right inside there. open back up so they say that Elvis was here so if you get a chance come to this town and check it out the barbecue place is right down there Elvis Presley Boulevard is down there and the Powell farm farmhouse is down there <laughs>